Hey guys, this is Vintage Sims, and today we are building an apartment for the founder of my Sims 4 Decades Challenge. Generally, the rules of this challenge nudge you towards building a farm, but since I've done this challenge a bajillion times and always started with a frickin' farm, I thought I'd try something totally different today. So I built an apartment, and this is a working class Victorian apartment, although it is set in the US, so I guess it's technically not Victorian since that's like British or something. But it is a working class apartment from the 1890s, and it is for our founder who is a working class sim. And since it is a working class apartment, it is very small and very dirty, and it still has a ton of Victorian flair added to it. So a lot of wood, a lot of dark colors, a lot of jewel tones, and a lot of drapes, and a lot of clashing patterns, um, which is something the Victorians are known for, lots of clutter and, and clashing patterns. And there weren't really any apartments in this building or in either of the older looking buildings that I felt were right for this build, because I really wanted it to be like a small apartment since it was sort of based on the apartment from Moulin Rouge that Christian is staying in, which is like a really small apartment. Um, a really small studio apartment and it's in I think it's in London <laughs> is it in London or France why can I not remember this right now it's in France because the Eiffel Tower okay I got it now anyways so he's like a writer and he has this studio apartment that's kind of overlooking stuff and so it's sort of based off that not entirely because it didn't show a whole lot of the interior but yeah so it's based off a very small apartment and he's very poor, so I figured he should have a small apartment and not, like, a large Victorian house. And I also didn't want to start with, like, a small cabin-type house and then have to expand on top of that to make it more Victorian as they made money. I just kind of want to start with one property and then another property and then another property instead of just building all on the same one because it kind of just makes it look kind of like the Weasley's house from Harry Potter, just like a bunch of rooms built on top of each other. But anyways, so this is the apartment, and I did build this apartment inside of a larger apartment. That was the point of what I was trying to say earlier. I finally got there, you guys. Good for me. And as you can see, I am putting a ton of little pictures around the apartment. I kind of think I maybe put too many, <laughs> just because he's supposed to be kind of poor. But Victorians were known for having like a ton of pictures on their walls and kind of being show-offs with like how much stuff they had. That's why they had so much clutter. They were like, everybody look at how much I freaking have. Ooh, I'm also really excited about the typewriter that I downloaded. Um, that is like changing everything for me so I don't have to be a freaking farmer now in this challenge. I can actually be a writer. I mean, I could have been a painter as well, but I thought that writing would be different and a lot of people aren't doing it because probably people are scared to have as many mods as I do since I have like 800 of them and I really need to stop. It's becoming an addiction at this point honestly and it's not okay. I need to slow down with my mods like seriously though. Uh, and as you can see I am just filling this space to the nines. Um, when I do my Victorian builds I don't really leave like any wall room if I can. The ceilings are kind of high on this one, but I try to fill it as high as I possibly can. Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background, he keeps meowing. <laughs> so just ignore that and um, ignore the door noise in the background because everyone in my house is deciding that right now they need to go through the sliding door like every three seconds apparently. So. That's what's going on with that. <laughs> As you can see, I'm putting a ton of books around this place. I love the suitcase with the book stacked on top. That is really actually very, very cute, and I'm really down for that. And I found these like bird feather things. I think they came with the pets expansion. I'd never seen them before, so I'm guessing that's where they came from, but I thought they were really cute. And they were a good addition. Like, even though he's not like a wilderness guy, I did give him a few wilderness type things in his apartment like I do give him a fish later on I think it's above his fridge 
and um, I do like the placement of the fish even though you know he's not wilderness type but we're gonna say that he like caught it when he was with his dad when he was a kid so it's like his first fish and he'll always remember it pretty much and here I am about to add my favorite things to add in The Sims um, at least in my Victorian builds is shelves I love wall shelves so much and I really just use them to fill up the walls when I have no idea what else to put them where else to put them I just fill up the shelves or fill up the walls with shelves and then I just stuff a bunch of shit on top of those shelves and usually it looks pretty good even if none of them make any sense as to why they're there but I mean I think it looks pretty swell and it's a way to add like a ton more plants into the room as well because they did love having a lot of plants around their houses um, back in the Victorian era and I'm just adding all these jars up here because they kind of remind me of like jars you would put like pickled food in and I feel like Victorian people probably ate pickled food or did pickle their food since they had to make things last a long time generally or salting them you know anyways this has been a history lesson by vintage sims <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the end of this build. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you and bye.